welcome back to another video. Today is our very first like upcycle DIY video. I am filming this intro on the very first day of the project. By the way, this is Zico, he's my parents' dog. Um, and I'm currently at my parents' house. Um, I leave tomorrow. I don't know how long it's going to take to finish, but when I finish, I will film the outro and we will have a little final thoughts time to talk about the project. So today we're gonna be working on this walking stick. Now, this walking stick was found by my mom at the grocery store. She goes to the same grocery store every day, pretty much, and when I'm here, I go with her. She found this in, like, abandoned in the parking lot, and she gave it back to the shop attendees and said, like, I found this so somebody can claim it, you know, because they might have left it behind, forgotten it, or something. And a few weeks went by, nobody claimed it, and so because they know me and they know that I use a walking stick sometimes, they told my mom she could have it if she wanted to have it because um, nobody came back to claim it. It basically has a lot of damage on the handle. The color's chipping off. You can see the wood from underneath. Uh, there's bits where it looks like it's been knocked on things and there's like chunks of wood missing. Paint job is completely being scratched off. There's places where it's still okay, but mostly it's really bad. There's a lot of scratch marks here from changing the sizes and stuff. The strap is really bad quality and the elastic on the strap is super like stretched out to the point where it doesn't ne it doesn't go back at all and it's just like hanging limply is what's this it's a walking stick okay there's a cool feature about this which is that it is one of those walking sticks that you can fold and i really want a foldable walking stick the problem is only this a specific partition and the bottom one open and the bottom one is super hard to open like I've managed to open it a little bit like and it smells really funky on the inside which I don't know what that's about um, I've got all black suit on me now so that's fun uh, but there's another partition here that just I cannot get that to open and I feel like it's probably stuck. I feel like it probably has lived its day as a foldable walking stick and I will just use it as a, rant, a regular walking stick and call it a day. The other thing that I really want to work on and that I'm really most excited about is the strap. So I was thinking about the strap. And I was like, I don't really want to go and spend a ton of money on this. And if I buy a new strap, it's going to come up to like five or six euros. And I was thinking, like, how hard can it be to make your own strap, right? And I realized probably not that hard. And I was looking at this one and I was looking at the one that I have on my on my other walking stick on Elizabeth. And I realized, like, I could probably do it myself at home. Today, we're going to work on this handle. I'm going to be doing this in a well-ventilated area. As you can see here, I'm outside. The dogs are hanging out with me, watching what I'm doing. And I'm making sure that I get all the nooks and crannies, all the little crevices, trying to really make sure that I have an even surface to work on later. And there was a notch on the walking stick, I think I mentioned that before. And I'm trying to even that out so that I don't hurt myself or it doesn't get caught in my clothes and things like that. So I'm just trying to make this an even job and I think I did it pretty well. And moving right along to the paint job, this was done several days later, probably a couple of weeks later actually. And here I'm just showing you what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using some gloves, uh, paint, obviously, spray paint, and I'm also going to be using more sandpaper, kind of. This one is kind of used, so I didn't want it to be super scratchy. I wanted it to be quite soft, and it's in this kind of sponge format, which is way easier to use for round surfaces. And I also cut off that old strap, and I am doing this outside in this area where I have cardboard to protect the floor and protect the walls. Um, and the other thing that I did was I used some masking tape to cover the areas that I didn't want to spray paint later. And with this sanding, I'm just trying to get that shine off so that I have an even 
surface to work on and here I am cleaning after you know sanding because obviously it creates a lot of dust and now it's time for spray paint so I did um, you know spray painted it it's not very hard I tried to do just one section then let it dry and then I did another section so I left parts that were dry so that I could lean the walking stick on something because this is kind of a hard thing to work with because it's not heavy or anything it's just hard to position for drying I found these styrofoam kind of cutouts that came in some box that of something I bought I don't even know what it was and they were really handy to lay the walking stick on to lean it against something they were really handy throughout this whole project so I definitely recommend that you use stuff like this that you might have around the house already that can be you know used to help you to you know prevent from getting your floors dirty etc or to just give you a little support which was this styrofoam so here I am painting the last bit that was dry and then I let this dry for a few hours outside in the sun this spray paint wasn't great quality so it didn't leave a great finish but I do address that in the future here is just a little sneak peek of me making the strap this is definitely not the final one this was just like a tester I did about four or five prototypes until I'm happy with it and even now I'm still working on making it better and cuter and more functional so it's definitely a work in progress but I am really proud that I created something myself but I will again talk about this in the future we're continuing with our upcycle video as you saw in the last footage that I showed you I was painting my walking stick. The walking stick itself is looking like this. I painted it all black and I'm going to now varnish it. So hopefully we're gonna address this situation. Now, I have a few ideas. I'm not sure yet what I wanna do. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up doing the crazy idea. So I'm thinking, because I want this to be an on budget kind of thing. I don't wanna go and buy a varnish I have to use a different varnish for wood and a different varnish for this. Like, I don't want to do all that. So I'm going to use Mod Podge kind of like white glue. Bear with me. A lot of people use that as like a top coat on paintings, on like when you do, if you paint something like a rock or something made of wood. So a lot of people use that. It makes it a bit more shiny. It makes it last longer. It makes the paint last longer. And it's something that I have available. It's something that's really cheap and easy to use. It's something that you can add glitter to. Yes, like fine, you know, glitter. You can use that powdered glitter and like mix it in with the glue and coat this and it would just be super shiny and glittery. So we're gonna do like a bunch of coats of stuff. I'm not sure how much glitter we're gonna use or even if it's gonna look good. So I have this bag of like this kind of embellishing, like bedazzling stickers. So I thought I might use some of these and do like just a few rows. We'll see when we get there. I'm just going to do a first like coat is just clear. So we're gonna have to wait for that to dry and I will check in with you and show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it because I haven't really like decided yet. These are the styrofoam things I was talking about. So there's just like, I don't know what this was from, but it just helps you kind of like prop it up like that. And I don't know, I know you can't see it that well. I'm going to give you a better angle, I promise. But it just helps you like prop things up so you can paint on it without getting stuff everywhere and yeah and also you're going to need the actual mod podge and a little i like to use it in a cup the truth is this isn't the like most durable way to do things but it's cheaper it's easier to find those materials and once this starts to chip off you can always just repaint it redo it do something new and that way like every year or two you can actually just have a new walking stick and it's the same walking stick so, pros and cons. The cup that I was talking about and our Mod Podge. Um, this is just, I think it's called vinyl paint, vinyl glue here. So as you can see here, I like to pour my Mod Podge onto a little cup because it comes in a squeezy kind of tube. 
and then I just use a paintbrush to spread it around and to get really into all of those little nooks and crannies and to just have an, as even a coat as I possibly can. trying to have a nap and I had a brainwave of what I wanted to do with my walking stick because it's literally just been leaning against the wall for a week now because I had no idea what I wanted to do next. I got a black piece of elastic that I kind of sewed myself on there <clears throat> so that I can attach like straps to it without having to take this off and on all the time, but it's sturdy and like durable, but I can still change out straps. So I'm just gonna use a key ring and make straps like this to go on there. Um, then I bedazzled it basically. So I used, I'll try to show you. I used these like gems that I have. So I did two rows here of like thicker ones, like bigger ones and then a small row in the middle of thinner ones. I put a bigger gem there and another one at the back and then I did a little touch at the bottom and the last thing that I'm going to do to this is apply a coat of like glue over these so that they don't go anywhere and I'm also going to do a layer with silver and gold glitter mixed together but it looks like so classy and sparkly and i love it it looks so freaking good and i think that because i'm gonna leave it black and just do the like silver gems i can use whatever color of strap that i want and i can match it to my outfits and i can do more fun stuff with it than if i was going to use like a color specific colored strap and because i only have black elastic it really suits the walking stick because it's hardly like it just looks like it's part of it so i'm really happy with that this is the strap that i am happy with at the moment in terms of it being cute comfortable and something that i can easily attach to my walking stick i will be hopefully soon adding some of these to my shop but I'm going to make them like one of a kind and they're going to include a little charm and the charm is removable so if you want to remove it you can really easily so there's a little lobster claw and it's small one okay but you can just remove it now it's on to the most fun part which is adding that glitter I tried to not go too crazy but you know I am a glitter aficionado so there we go now I did this part very slow and I really took my time with it because I wanted to make it an even thin coat so that it didn't have like really big chunks of glitter in one place and then not at all in other places. I also then pulled that elastic down to cover the little screw thing where we can adjust the walking stick and so I didn't want that to be coated in glitter. And when I get to the bedazzled parts I make sure to really add a very thick layer of glue and to really get into there all of those crevices and really get in there because it will make those little gems stay on much, much longer. It really makes a difference. It is finally time to have our little wrap up to talk about the pros and cons. My final thoughts on this, show you the final product. I really enjoyed this video. I really, really had fun making it. And it was probably one of the longest videos that I've ever worked on because I started working on this about two months ago, so it actually was a long project. Not that the things that I had to do themselves were very long, and I didn't work on this every day or like far from it. I feel like if I was to work on this like morning to night every single day, it would probably take about four days to do, and that would be including drying times. And so sometimes these products take a long time because you have to wait for things to dry, you have to wait for ideas sometimes, which happened to me as well. I didn't want to ruin it and do too much, but I also didn't want it to be super plain because obviously I'm a little bit extra, so I like things to be a little bit extra, but not like really, really flamboyant. I just like things to have a little spice. I think the main problem that I'm going to face and that I faced with this uh, video or this 
upcycle was really that I wasn't working with great materials. From the paint that I used to like covering it instead of with like a proper varnish using a Mod Podge, obviously I'm working with things that are cheap and easy to find for a reason, but also they obviously cause problems or they will bring uh, more cons than otherwise. I feel like the paint wasn't great, but also the fact that I coated it completely covered that up so it was okay in the end. And honestly, like it looks great. I just feel like maybe better quality products would be easier to work with, but that's true for anything. I feel like the moral of this story and the really key thing here is that you can create something really beautiful that really fits your style and that goes with you and that is different and unique with things that you may have at home. So the paint that I used, I've had for like three years because I bought it for a different project. Uh, the Mod Podge I had at home, the glitter I had at home, embellishments like bedazzling glitters I had at home, the elastic I already owned, the fabric that I used to make the strap I already owned, the charms, like everything that I used I already owned. I literally spent no money on this. And I feel like even if you wanted to go and purchase those things now, you are not going to use a whole can of spray paint. You're not gonna use the whole bottle of Mod Podge. You're not going to use the whole sheet of sandpaper. So you can purchase those things and then keep them for a different project in the future if you like crafting and if you like doing stuff like this. I personally love upcycling things and it's something that I miss greatly now that I'm sick because I can't do things anymore that I used to because I used to take old cupboards and furnishings and things and I would transform them. And it was kind of a hobby that I would do like sparsely because obviously it is really time consuming. And obviously whatever I used to buy for those projects, I would save whatever was left over for something in the future. Or if you don't wanna spend any money on this, but you really wanna transform your walking stick, Sorry, I just noticed I have this like huge dry patch on my hand, so that's fun. For example, don't have any spray paint and you don't want to buy any, maybe somebody that you know, like a friend or relative, has some leftover from a different thing that they used it for and they can lend it to you or give it to you because maybe they'd be happy to get rid of it. Sometimes in thrift stores, not here in Portugal because thrift stores here are like a weird concept, but I know that in the States you can find pretty much anything at the thrift store, so Maybe you can even find the walking stick to begin with there and it's old and kind of ugly and you can make it something new. I don't know. I think it's a really good way to get our creative juices flowing. It's a fun way to incorporate like art with our disabilities and things like that and to make something new. And I feel like I'm going to get a lot of compliments on this walking stick and it will start a conversation. So it'll be good. I still haven't showed it to you. We have to name it, but I still have no idea. Like I was thinking about Philip, but I feel like Philip is not the right name for this walking stick. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It looks super shiny. There's a ton of glitter. I will give you a better close up because I feel like the lighting is not great today because I have to have the blinds closed because it's quite hot. And at this time of year, the sun hits this room for many hours. So it gets quite warm in here and I don't like the direct sunlight because it gives me migraines. That was a really long-winded explanation, but just so you know. So we have a row of bedazzling at the bottom here. I also put glitter on this like rubber bit that goes on the floor because I thought it would just look nice. So I was a bit more sparse on the actual body of the walking stick and a bit I went a bit more heavy-handed on the handle and the little foot for basically one reason. And the reason is that this is going to get a lot of damage or like wear and tear because it's going to be on the floor and I'm going to knock it on things and if I go to the beach and I take this walking stick then it's going to be in the sand and the handle obviously because it's going to have my hand on it and I normally hold my walking stick like this so I get sweaty palms and this area is going to be sweaty a lot so i also made sure that the coat over these little bedazzlings were was really really thick and really in there because these i've had these for a long time and i've used them on other things and if i do not put a coat of mod podge over it like a thick coat 
they will just pop off like really easily and because i'm going to have my finger especially on this one because i'm going to have my finger here often because i do that and it's going to be something that i touch a lot so it will inevitably have more like strain and pressure on it so i feel like it's just a good idea to have more mod podge there i also put a thick layer here because then we're gonna have the elastic over it and it will rub and i'm scared it will come off because on my other walking stick the elastic bit is actually removing the paint so that's nice and it feels kind of textured but in a good way it doesn't feel like rough it's like small like it just you can feel the glitters a little bit but i actually kind of like that it's textured it looks very different now that it has the glitter on it from when i showed it to you with just the bedazzlings and i feel like i could have left it at that but i really really love the glitter like it just looks so exciting and i actually because i did so many layers of mod podger like quite thick ones there's areas where it looks kind of milky where the you can tell there's like a very very thin kind of whitish layer i think that the fact that it's like kind of sparse and like here and there it kind of makes it look like the milky way and i love that i just feel like my it's like a galaxy walking stick kind of i don't know i love it i think it looks so cool i'm really really proud of this i'm really happy with how it came out yeah be really careful with this section because you're gonna need to unscrew this to add your strap so either add the strap like as soon as possible but then you have the problem that you can't paint over the strap etc so you want to be really careful and not put mod podge on this and be careful that you leave a little space around it i won't be using this very much but just i just thought i'd throw that in there because I didn't think about that and I should have. I've showed you this blue one, which has this little charm on there. I also made this one, which has this kind of lavender fabric that I really like. And I made this with scraps. So I just use like small pieces that I can use for something else. And I made these little charms. So I made one with a little heart and there's a gold tassel. And then there is just like some beading and stuff. And I think they're super cute. So I thought I would add this here. To show you how to do it so basically this is a key ring so all you have to do is like pull it apart a little bit and you just hook it in there and where is it oh, yeah yeah that's it we're done that's it it's really easy to it's really easy to hook this onto the elastic like a lot easier than I thought it was going to be and I have a cute little strap now i think that some people might find that the strap the strap specifically is too small but i actually find that the straps that they normally have for walking sticks the like ready-made cord kind of ones are too big and when i'm walking if i have the strap on like if i'm walking it'll fall over and then when i actually need to like take my hand off it will like it won't be around my wrist anymore. So I actually made it smaller so that I wouldn't have that problem. But I might need to adjust it with where, like I'll see if it's too big or too small. So I'm not really ready to put these up for sale just yet, but do let me know if you are interested in one. I would actually love to make more custom walking sticks, but I don't know how to get my hands on them. And I actually had this idea the other day that I could do it for you guys. Like you could send me your walking stick and I would fix it for you and send it back. But I feel like the logistics involved in that would just be too expensive and just like not worth our time. So I don't think that's gonna come, that's gonna happen. But for now, I'm really happy with this. That's it. That is my little walking stick upcycle. It looks so much better than it did before. I'm actually like excited to use this one. So I'm really happy with this. I'm happy that I did this and I'm happy that I documented the project. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like me to make more kind of DIY upcycle videos like using sewing projects i don't know whatever projects that you might think are interesting that you'd like to do please let me know i would be so happy to do these for you because it's something that i really genuinely enjoy doing and i will be doing anyway so just to wrap that into my into my uh channel would be really cool and i feel like it would give you guys a lot of ideas i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave it a like and a comment and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done that already it would mean so much to me you can also consider shopping my Etsy store, which will really help me a lot, and it is linked below. That is all the things I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!